Welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to the service of worship and good morning to everyone. Hopefully you're watching this in the morning. If not, good evening. Um, but anyway, before we get started, just a couple of things just to put out there. Um, we do want to hold in our prayers Rick Crothers. He is home recovering from not only breaking his ankle, but then having surgery on it. But he is doing well and home recovering. So keep him and Karen in our prayers. And also for John Bell, who should be home from the hospital by the time you hear this message, but continued prayers for him as he struggles with some of the side effects from his chemo treatment that he had last week. And also just um, to bring to your attention, as you listen to the sermon today, the songs, the music that has been chosen will coincide right with what the sermon is all about. So give a listen, you'll hear some of what I'm talking about in the sermon in the songs that are being played. But for now, can we join together in prayer? God, we thank you for this time that we can come together, to gather in your name. Though worship is looking different for us these days, we know that God, you are opening our eyes to new ways of praising you, to new ways of being the church, and to hopefully new ways of growing deeper in relationship with you and all that you can do for us. God, we know that you are with us every step of the way, and we know you are with those who are struggling with illnesses, who are hurting, and who are trying to be the best that they can be. But God, we know that even when we fall short, you still pick us up and you still keep us moving in the right direction in a direction that leads towards you. And God, as we think about what it means to worship you and to praise you in new and different ways, we think about the words that Jesus taught his disciples, and we share these words together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen and amen. And as you move through the order of worship today, take note, and hopefully I pray that God opens your hearts and your minds to hear the words that are being spoken. <clears throat> 